earlier today talking about the KPA versus Sporting. Not even earlier today, like yesterday, I, I made a video talking about that matchup, and even I made a post earlier today talking about that too. That KPA versus Sporting game, I feel like it's just going to be a very difficult game. I analyzed it in depth, and I went. I, I went uh, and made a video talking about the whole situation that you know goes around this game, and if KPA are not able to like um, succeed in this toughest test that they have right now, I don't think they'll ever be able to like say that they they are the real contenders because even I saw a uh, news uh, I, I saw a news like article from FIBA talking about this um, whole situation so. It, it the title reads, which team is running the African Women's Basketball League in Alexandria? So we had REG. REG right now, I can say they're just um, they're just on that level. They are four and zero in the group. They made quick work of the Equity Hawks, and they beat even Inter Club. And that Inter Club game was very very uh, interesting to watch. And they just have a very good team, and they have actually recruited two WNBA players in the squad and given like the way they they go about the ball game they just know what they're doing in there and it's it's something that you, you enjoy just watching REG play because it's system it's systematic offense uh, there's a team that plays a lot of defense they know how to select shots they are just have all the they have all the tools to show like they are a pro basketball team something that neither KP or equity are uh, and some and also the Alexandria sporting team they are number they are also sitting pretty there because I feel like it runs through the a sporting if KP are able to beat a sporting that means that they can be able to like you know take apart any other big team that are, they're going to face so given that situation I am not that uh, confident in KPA's offense because I've seen like the way they play it's just a lot of you know uh, hot potato basketball and also sideways passing they don't want to like you know advance the ball inside they don't want to attack so that's one thing that i've seen with kpa in there and a sporting are a team that just exploits exploits their flaws and they did that very well especially last year in the in the zone 5 championship last year in the finals and also the africa women's cup last year when they met in the quarterfinals and also no and also just to mention like KPN is sporting just have a history. You could see what they did last year. They knocked uh, they knocked KP in the quarterfinals and also they and then they went ahead to win it all. So you could see a sporting are very good and even the games that they've had there this is a team that is yet to take a loss. And these are two unbeaten teams. So one O has got to go and I feel like the KP's loss will come and this is the first team is going to deliver the first loss. If KP lose to this team I don't think that they can make even a podium finish honestly they can't do that uh kpa they 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 just want to you know prove that they belong <laughs> to among the elite teams which it's cause it's debatable because uh, this is not a team that is that dominant they only know how to beat below average teams i mean there's no structure in their offense they they play defense the stars don't know their roles on the team you know they brought in uh, an acquisition they brought in like a foreign player in there that you know doesn't even contribute anything to basket to basketball eyes and you could even see like you know <laughs> even released a graphic showing like this player very excited after scoring zero points she didn't even like contribute in the last game that kpa played despite the result uh she was just unplayable in there and i honestly feel like uh investing in such a player and given given the fact that uh, their resources and resources spent on that player and by virtue of that player being there locks out the opportunity for another player to be able to play those minutes and get that roster spot it's uh it's not a good look honestly for an organization and this shows you like you know these uh quote unquote top teams in our country i know they are top teams because the women's division is weak even i made a video talking about the women's division I don't trust them to be able to like you know groom talent because they just win now it's all about you know uh a win now mentality that uh the the team just has they just want to win now and you know forget about you know the the whole uh 
creating like you know the creating like a place where uh, an athlete can be able to like learn and do something so honestly this win now strategy of getting like foreigners to we to do the dirty work for you is it gonna cut it because you tried last year with ifuna nyokoro okay you had some success domestically but after even you got her like you won the kbf title and when you got her she only, she could only take you to the <laughs> Can only make take you to the quarterfinals, and this uh, whole idea of the KPA players just deferring to the the new players that have come in, and the new players don't even understand the culture of the team. I know the organization is an independent entity, but there are things that you just cannot hide. You just cannot bring a player, and you think that they're they're just going to you know you just plug them in and they're just gonna fix anything. So honestly it's uh, it's not a good look for for a team and this is not even encouraging any player to even join the the kpa team or even the equity hawks team and for your information even made a even made a post talking about like uh like the two acquisitions that reg had i feel like reg they they have a blend of both like uh getting quality players not only getting quality players but also utilizing the players that are already on the roster and having even more young players in the squad. So that's a perfect this is a well run organization and a well run team. As opposed to KPA. KPA just win now. They don't care about um making sure that they they keep their talent and groom their talent well for that for such opportunities. They just feel like, you know, because we because we've got the resources, let's just bring let's just grab the players in there. So honestly that's not a you know good like you know culture you're setting for the team and even after even going even into like domestic leagues and even after this whole contest the foreign players are all gonna go away all this money and all that time you've invested in like you know uh <laughs> putting up like, the players there putting those foreign players there they're not gonna be there in the, for, in the long term because short-term success will just blind you to making mistakes in the end so honestly uh, and also like no nope, no one will be able to like even want to associate with the organization if you carry on like that so kpa they, they want to show you like they are in and they're in elite company but unless until they beat a team like you know uh unless unless they beat inter club unless they beat a sporting or unless they beat rg uh here not the version of reg in zone 5 this iteration of reg and until they beat that team that you know until they beat the, this version of reg that's when they, they they'll be in elite status other than that they're just you know a team that knows how to beat below average teams and this is not a shot to them it's just you know it does it's just how it is and today is that day that they're going to be tested and if they don't pass this test they will not make the you know podium they don't have a podium finish and they'll have their their selves to blame i feel like in this game we're going to have only seven players playing uh, given like the magnitude of this game i don't think like a lot of players are going to play the the garbage minutes that uh <laughs> some players are used to playing they're not gonna get them and i i expect like a, about like four or five dnps because this game is just going to be so intense you will see like three to four players are going to play north of 30 minutes so if they play more than 30 minutes that means other players are not going to get you know time to play and the offense and defense will be put to the test so the players that can't play defense and they think that they can score let's see what they can do here let's see what these imports can do because you can see Antoine Bannister should not be able to do anything hold on a bit